Hello everybody, this is Shane Armand Rowe from NVIDIA Shield Zone. I'm going to show you how to use some custom profiles here in the C64.EMU emulator to allow you to um, tailor your experience for individual games and assign keystrokes to different buttons on your controller. This will allow you to play games without a keyboard, which many Commodore 64 games require that you do. So the first thing we're going to start with is uh, we're going to go into the input setup. We're going to detect our device. And as you can see, I've got a profile that automatically loads called Gateway to AppShy, which is the game that I want to play. Now, I do have other configurations in here available, like uh, I just disconnected my keyboard. I can change to different ones, like the custom number one that I have, or... Uh, joystick keys, all sorts of different generic ones. I'm going to wake my keyboard back up. I'll probably wig it out. Oops. Auto detect device again. We'll make sure that we got the right device. And again, it says my gateway to AppShy. All right. So here's what we're going to look at. Um, let's take a look at the uh, joystick keys. Everything's already pretty much bound the way you want, right? You would expect it to be, right? Swapping ports, um, a trigger turbo button, which uh, I don't particularly need a trigger turbo. Uh, but up, down, left, right, it all looks good. What we really need to do is go into the keyboard keys. Now, Gateway to Abshire, I already know, requires a trigger and the four function keys, F1, F3, F5, and F7. So in here, I've assigned F1, F3, F5, and F7 to various buttons on the keyboard. So let's see how that works out. So I've got this profile loaded. I'm going to go ahead and look for my recent games. Gateway to AppShy. I do not want to continue. I'll restart. I'm not sure what's going on here. Let me uh, try that again. Very strange. Well, weird things happen with emulators. Let me go ahead and exit out. Just in case. All right. Recent games, gateway, restart game. There we go. All right. So here's Gateway to Abshai. Easily one of the better Commodore 64 games out there. This is sort of Mystery Dungeon before Mystery Dungeon came about. So again, I need a trigger to go on. It gives me my health, <clears throat> my stats. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we select a dungeon, and here we go. All right, so in this game, uh, you explore an ever-developing dungeon. You have um, 99 clicks on the timer up there to explore this dungeon before you'll be automatically moved. Now, this game contains traps, um, hidden doors, plenty of weaponry. Um, so we'll grab this short sword. Using one of the keys, you designate what item you want to use. So in this case, um, I want to use the short sword. Let me uh, do this. So I've assigned to the X button, I believe it was F5. So F5 toggles me through different actions that I could perform. Check weapons. Short sword, leather armor, right? I could also... Um, check supplies, which I have none, right? Keys will automatically open any door that I find. Locate trap. This will query around the room in a certain radius around me to see if there's any traps in the area. And there's one right there. Now, it only keeps it there for a moment, so you kind of have to keep track of it, but usually traps are placed on top of items. You can also use, like I said, the search spell. The search spell will see if there's any hidden doors. We'll eventually run into one. You can drop items, etc., uh, etc. Et and then finally, the F7 key, which I have mapped to B, allows you to return to fight mode. 
So now I'm ready to ready to rock and roll. So I'll need a key. There we go. I'll go back to fight. Now I might like look for traps in here, or I might use the search spell. Sometimes there'll be a door up here. These are all randomly generated, so you never know quite what you're going to expect. There's arrows. I bet there's a trap in here. No. Not in here. Oops. Search spell. Let me look for traps. Not even a trap on that chest. Sweet. No trap, but I bet there's a door in here. No? Back to fight. Okay. Let me locate traps here. No. Keys. Back to fight. No traps. No special doors. Back to keys. Back to fight. Sure enough, there's a snake. I don't know, easy enough. Trap on the scroll. So, do, can you disarm the trap? No. Sometimes you're willing to take the hit. If you've got enough health, which I do, you could take the hit, get the scroll, but I also got the pit trap as well. And of course, once you use the trap up, it's gone. And usually I would have run across the secret door by now. Some spores, mold, and fungus. Come here, you little bastard. One. These things get faster as the game goes on. All right. No trap. Ah, but I knew there'd be one around here somewhere. Nope, nothing else going on in here. All right. So we pretty much know there's no traps around here. Back to fight. Sometimes you can get them stuck on the geometry. Dang. Short sword sucks. Ooh, I'm taking damage. So how do you check your uh, current status? Okay, I've got nine health. I'm still in pretty good shape. Probably better to keep checking for traps. Oh, no trap here. Is it trapped? Nope. Sweet. Hmm. Nothing. Tra la la. All right. Healing salve. Cool. And that you can use from your items. Yeah, I still got nine health. I'm in good shape. None of each. There's a very limited range, so... Stupid rat. I don't remember how much health that stupid rat takes when he hits you. Seven, I'm good. So it looks like one point per hit in this case. I thought. Dang it. No 
trap. No secret doors. A single trap in this room? Amazing. I'm gonna die. Well, there you go. So we, that's how, and I, as you saw, I got to use it. No keyboard. I had everything mapped to the controllers. It's perfect. All right, so let's see how this works with another game. Something a little more difficult. All right, so let's. Um, it's a game that uses some weird buttons. So I have Jumpman in here somewhere. Jumpman's an oddball. All right, there's Jumpman. Perfect. So the first step in building these custom profiles here is seeing what you need. Now, hey, maybe I'm already okay. My keyboard keeps shutting itself off. All right, so this is your standard remember intro, which you'll need a space bar. And it's going to need a run stop to get past the... Uh, intro stuff here I could use a I could use cursor down to scroll but I don't need to worry about that use the fast forward uh, R2 to get by these longer loads any decompression stuff hey yeah that... sometimes fast forward helps sometimes it doesn't Very, very slow. Now, I personally know that this game doesn't take this long to normally load if you're using some sort of a fast loader. So let's look at a little extra slice here before we do that. Let's go to the quick settings. Let's go to NTSC with no true drive emulation. It will reset, but we have to live with that. Fast forward, we'll be crunching. There we go. Fast forward, fast forward, run stop. Should see a little bit faster load time now. Or maybe not. <laughs> Well, it looks like we needed to push the button. So enable or disable fast loader. So we need an E or a D. So that'll be the first thing we need. So I'm going to make a note here, E or D. Am I ever going to want to disable the fast loader? No. So I need an E. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and use my keyboard just to get past here. Enable. Boop, 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 boop. It's not letting me. I probably didn't reconnect the keyboard. Uh, all right. So back out don't really exit so let's go back to our input select the device okay so we need a we need to um, uh, do a new profile okay it'll copy all my current profile keys over sweet this is going to be I am using my keyboard now jump man and for my joystick keys are fine, but for my keyboard keys, I'm pretty sure I don't need function keys for this. What you do need in this game is to be able to select a run speed of uh, one through nine. Now, I seem to remember that I really like three. So I'm going to take and find the number three. And I'm going to assign it to, say, X. All right. And I do need an enable or disable loader, so I need an E. So I probably won't need that very often. So I'm going to assign that to L1. And uh, let's see if that gets us any further. E, high score trainers. So I want the high score saver, so I need an H. Let's go back, 
players, detect device, set keyboard, run this guy down to H, assign that to R1, see if we're closer now, <sighs> load or reset high scores, so now I need an L. So how about uh, we'll put that on the, oops, that didn't work out. All right, so let's go back here and we'll put L on the, um, uh, we'll put that on the left trigger. All right. Now, fortunately, this thing has a, uh, it automatically saves a state, so this should take us back to where we were. All right, cool. So load. Perfect. Excellent. All right, so let's see. Now, it seems to me you need an enter key to get the game started, because right now none of my keys are working. So we need to set something to enter. So we needed space and we needed run stop. So we're going to keep those keys. So uh, keypad setup. Let's see, what key do I have free here? I have B still free, I think. Auto detect device to set up. Keyboard keys. I think I still have my B button that I haven't used yet. We'll use that for enter. Oh, return, I guess, is, this, is what we're looking for here. Right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Is now enter. Perfect. Oh, more numbers. All right. Well, I've already got a three, so I guess I'll do advanced. Oh, I need an enter again. Perfect. Number of players. Crap, I need a one. What am I going to, where am I going to set number one at? So this is, this is how, you know, like I said, you only have to do this once, but what a pain. All right. So let's go back to our keyboard actions. Let's see. I've already got X, L1. Do I have Y? I do have Y assigned, don't I? I have Y assigned to one of these guys, right? Oh, no, why is it assigned to swap ports? I don't know if this will override it or not. Hmm. Well, let's, we, well, we have a couple more buttons we can use here. What did I say? I needed a one, right? So let's make one the uh, start button. Perfect. Number of players, one. All right. So now, I'll show you why this uh, number thing matters. Being able to use the number three. Not so fast loader. Come on. Don't you forget how long this stuff takes. Although, you know, I just don't remember these levels taking this long to load. All right, something is amiss. Let's do this. Let's go back to our quick settings. Um, let's go back to true drive emulation. Let's restart this. Because remember, the uh, intro has a... Uh, okay. Skip past that. Run stop. All right. Enable or disable bootloader. So, or fast loader, we will do E. High score. Uh, yes. Load. What did I put down for L? Mm, this one? Yep. All right. So now I have a one mapped somewhere. So now I can be beginner, enter, players, one. There we go. That's what I thought. All right. 
So now notice that I default to a run speed of 4, which is okay, but I'd probably like to be a little bit faster. So as the game loads, I can tap 3, or my X button, to um, change it to speed 3 during the loading. Forgot the controls here a little bit. All right, so. As this next one loads, I'm going to change my run speed to 3 by tapping the uh, 3 button, which I have mapped to X. There we go, my run speed is now 3. Definitely suits me better. Come on. Yeah. Definitely like run speed 3 better. Oh, crap. Well, you got to pay attention where the robots go. But anyway, so there you go. So now we have a Jumpman configuration. Perfect. Or a profile, to use the proper vernacular. All right, let's do one more of these. Um, let me find another game. Where's, like, uh, Raid Over Moscow? That requires special controls. Do I have that on here? If I don't, I should. Oops. Well, dang. All right. Um, trying to think of any other games that require something special. Well, most of the time it's to get through the bootloaders and all that other crap. Let's see. I don't remember any of these requiring anything weird. Let's try Mission Impossible. Or Impossible Mission. That's a good one. Try to fast forward, see if we can get through the load a little quicker. Okay, so we're going to start this off because I don't like waiting around. Let's get rid of the true drive uh, emulation. NTSC, no true drive. See how much quicker that was? Just boom, just skips right by. Hey, we can't speed up the decrunching though. <laughs> All right, it's another remember crack, so you'll need a space, and you'll need a run stop to get through this. Oh, no uh, messages for that one. Let's see if we can speed through this. I don't know what exactly it's doing, but... God, we played a lot of this. All right, so the only thing what we tip we need a typical uh, loadout, right? So so far we needed a space a space bar for impossible mission. I'll just take your time. Now see, this is where you find out that maybe you have to have true drive emulation in order to finish loading the game. Unfortunately, that you cannot flip on the fly. Get another second or two. I do not remember it taking this long. The keyboard dumped out again. Enter key's not helping, so we wait it out, I guess, until we decide if it if it's not going to work, we'll have to go back to true drive emulation. This is probably listed on my website, on the uh, c64.emu help site. We definitely seem to be hung here. So the next thing you can try, if you don't want to have to give up the fast loading, is go to PAL. Some of these games do require a, a PAL um, 
screen refresh, but that's okay. Speed up, speed, 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 faster. All right. See if this helps at all. Now, obviously, on modern equipment, you don't see the difference between 50 and 60 hertz, but. So far, I'm not uh, seeing a difference here. Could swap ports. Aha! So there you go. Perfect example. So. This, I got to kind of make a mental note now to swap ports. Let's go back again here. Let's not exit, but let's reset. Let's go back. Quick settings. NTSC fast drive. Speed through it. This is one of those ones where the title screen was waiting for you to hit the fire button, but we had... Um, we had the uh, ports swapped, right? So you can use, this is why I like to keep the Y button mapped to ports. Oh, hey, look at this, high score trainer, right? So we have H already assigned. Hey, we have L assigned already. Perfect. Sweet. So really, we can just use the same jump man configuration for this. Man, oh man. Many hours playing this game. Crap, a little too close. Oops. Hmm, robot snooze. Just come over here and stop being obnoxious. Oh, weak. Let's go the other way. What else do we got? Little guy running was like the most amazing thing back then. Thought I could jump out of the way in time. No such luck. Puzzle piece. Sweet. Oops. Crap. Dang it. Time to use, whoops, I need that robot snooze. Temporarily disable robots. Sweet, of course he's right there on top of the thing. Nothing here. All right, cool. And of course what makes, oh, let me see it was an exit on the side, sweet. All right, so there you go. That's pretty much it. And of course, everything was kind of controlled here, so that's cool. All right. Oh, how do I go? Yeah, this thing here, off. Sweet, so I have a fully functioning game, and uh, I could use Jumpman. I could use the Jumpman configuration. Sweet. So what I could do is, right i could go in here and rename this profile make my keyboard back up oops yes i know you found the keyboard so now you're not sure what to do oops rename profile so what i'll do is i'll call this i don't know jump man slash imp mish is something that I'll remember it all right cool all right so now I'm ready to go to the next one let's see how about Aztec challenge Ooh, 10 frames a good one this one requires um uh, number keys to be used so we're still using our Jumpman uh, configuration. Oh, why am I not fast forwarding that? Another remember intro. Run stop to exit. All 
Ah, see, now we have League or Open Bowling. Now, remember, we did have an L assigned, but I probably don't want one of those. So we're probably going to have to have a special configuration for this one. So let's do that. Okay, so new profile. Copy over the old one. We're going to call this 10th frame. And keyboard keys. So... Let's unbind all, which is nice that we have that option. Unbind all the keys. So far, I know I need an L. So L1 sounds pretty good to map to that. That seems to make some sort of weird logical sense. I don't know what I'm doing. So let's map this to L. Oops. Okay. So what's next? L. Oh, no. Team of type name of team one. Well, I guess we're going to be L, <laughs> but I need an enter, I think, or fire. Nope, I'm going to need an enter or return. So input setup. We had one on the old one, but uh, since we wiped all the keys, set keyboard, we need an enter key, a return on the C64. There we go. Let's assign that to R1. Also seems to make some weird sense. And number of players on team one. I needed a one. I should have done open bowling, shouldn't I? All right, let's do this. You're probably not going to play league bowling very often. It's usually open bowling. That was my bad. Let's go back here. Let's get rid of the L. And make it open bowling. up here right okay there now we're gonna have to of course reset the game oh I needed a one didn't I I guess I should do that while I'm in there all right so keyboard keys I need a one let's make one say the y or x that'll work all right now we're ready to keep going but let's reset it. Let's reset it so we can test our key configuration. Reset, yes. Oops. Guess uh, for some reason I thought it would reload that. But recent games, tenth frame, don't continue. Fast forward. Space bar. What happened to my space? Oh, we took the space bar out. Naughty, naughty. That's what I get. I also took out run stop, so I'm going to have to put that back, too. Run stop. And space. There we go. Run stop. Fast forward, fire button, fast forward. League or open bowling, open. Number of players, uno. Um, we'll call him L or O. Oh, I can't put a one on there. O, 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 O. Ooh, and then enter. Did I not, I thought I, oh, R1, yeah. Oh, so many buttons. Okay, so, um. I don't have any of those mapped already, so I'm going to need, uh, let's say amateur, right? So let's do this. I need an A. All right, perfect. I'll assign that to the B button, which doesn't make sense, but it will once we're in there. Amateur. Number of games, one. <laughs> All right, perfect. Now we have a nice working profile for, I think I had a little too much hook. Hey, get down. Freaking cats will walk all over you. Fast forward. Hmm. Might have to review how to play this silly game. Maybe you have to hold it down for the hook. Fast forward. Brr.
That's better. Get decent frame in here. I think you hold down and then tap for speed, then hold down and tap for hook. Yeah, way too much hook. All right, my bowling abilities are not what's in question here. All right, so now we have a nice... Um, now, 10th frame is probably going to be pretty uh, esoteric, right? So we have one called 10th frame. We're good. All right, so let's switch back to something a little more generic, like, say, the Jumpman Impossible Mission one for the next setup. game now listen there's going to be some games that require you to type there's going to be some games that require you to have just way too many letters than uh or function keys than you're going to have available to you so you'll just have to either get a keyboard and hook it up or um stick to games that only require a certain number of keys all right beachhead two Okay, good. So far, so good. Standard uh, space bar run stop scenario. Uh, so I need a no. So I need an N. Key put input, detect. All right, so let's go ahead and create a new profile. I'm going to copy those over. All right. First thing we need is an N. So let's, um, let's take away the E binding by tapping left twice and give us an N binding. All right. Nope. How are we doing now? Is that it? Speed up. Button. Hmm. Switch ports and hit button. Nope. Snooze. Loading indicators. Hmm. Fast forward some more. No. All right, so this game obviously needs a little extra love. Let's go to quick 64 settings. Um, let's try PAL with no true drive image. True drive uh, emulation. I know I do that a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, do I want to reset high scores? No. Fast forward again. Fire buttons. Switch fire buttons. Fast forward. Some games just take a long time to load. Whether you're using true drive emulation or fast. Sit here and wait for the paint to dry. Space, run stop, nope, nothing. And occasionally you will come across a game that just plain doesn't work or the disk image is bad, or any number of possibilities. And I'm pretty sure that I made a note about Beachhead on the website. So, shameless plug, let's go back to NVIDIA Shields, and while this is sitting here, we'll go to the uh, C60. I know you can't see any of this, I'm just talking you through it. Go to the search. We'll just type in uh, 
C64. C64, CC. All right, now let me see if I had some game listing for this particular game. Badlands, Barbarian, Demon Stalkers. Nope, I do not appear to have any issue with that. All right, so I did tell you in one of the other videos, sometimes you've got a monkey with these creepy, scary options for the border. This might just be one of those. Where's that border thing? So normal, we might have to turn on full borders for this to work. I know, weird things have happened. All right, which kind of makes the visual of the game kind of suck, but all right, let's um, restart this. Recent games, Beachhead 2. No, we'll restart from scratch. Speed up. All right, skip. R2, or run stop, rather. No. I do not want to reset the high score list. So, this is not looking like a working scenario. So this is something we'll probably have to take offline, but at least, um, it's so weird. What are we currently set for? Let's restart this thing with just NTSC with no drive emulation. Just keep thinking that there's something that we're having we're gonna need to push or something. Sequence one. There's just happens to be anything in here. That's cool. They recreated the in in manual game graphics. All right, enough of this. No. Maybe I should say yes. Maybe it doesn't work if you don't say yes, huh? What do you think? Weirder things have happened, right? Maybe you have to reset it once. All right. Um, Let's, hey, you know what? Every now and then you have to step outside the box. So let's put a yes on R2. Let's go back and reset this thing. Just recent games, Beachhead, restart. When somebody asks you if you're a god, you say yes. Did I have something already mapped to R1? Because it's not accepting my yes. Um, there's my R1 there. I did. I had it set for H. All right. So what if I say yes? Do I get to play if there's a yes? All right, so uh, welcome back. We uh, trimmed out some of the stuff. So um, we managed to get Beachhead 2 to work. The uh, the true secret of getting Beachhead 2 to work 
is you need PAL and True Drive em emulation settings. Like I said, occasionally we'll just get one of these weird games that will require this. There we go. Da, 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 da. We're just fast forwarding all this crap. Not that it's not cool, but. All right, so um, looks like we need a function key in here. We need, um, we'll probably be level one, player one, score, top 10, filter, demo. So there's a handful of keys that we could do, but we probably want to be level one, player one, right? So uh, let's go down to our controls, auto detect, keyboard setup, and we'll go ahead and select F1 to be um, B. All right, perfect. Let's go back. And, oh, good, F1 again, normal. Perfect. Some magic loading action here. We'll speed that up, hopefully. Yeah. Oops. Switch game ports. Medic. It's like the old game Paratrooper. Except for I'm getting suckered. Man, I can't the broadside of a barn. I got that first one by accident. down boys follow me man, follow me, man. I'm here. Man, he's gonna get enough guys down there to blow me up all right well again playing the game is not the point of this so now we have a good beachhead layout um, unfortunately these settings these quick settings don't necessarily stay the profile itself only holds your keyboard and joystick settings. So this is the sort of time when somebody somewhere needs to write down what it was that it required. Which will be me adding it to my um, website. All right, so once again, um, we've taken you through how to change up. Oh, you probably need to know too, like if you were going to play, say, the first game that we played you probably would want to know how to change that profile. It's pretty simple. Set up your device, go down to the profile, and then you could go back to say Gateway to Abshai. And then when we load our game up, we'll be good to go. Our key configurations will be ready and we can actually just continue with where we left off. Swapping joystick ports, by the way, also doesn't stick either. All right, so now we're back to playing. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, again, uh, NVIDIAShieldZone.com. This is Shane R. Monroe. Appreciate you taking the time to watch, and I hope you enjoyed it.